State leaders took another step today toward getting more kids back to school in person. The North Carolina House approved a bill that would require local schools to give families that option. It requires local school districts to offer the option of in-person learning, but they can choose which of these states' social distancing protocols to follow. Now at five, learning about finances could be at the top of the curriculum list for high school students in South Carolina. Fox 46 chief political correspondent Emma Withrow is live in the newsroom. And Emma, break down what this means for these students. Well, Lindsay, this bill's been a long time coming, actually. Senators in South Carolina have previously tried to make it financial literacy a requirement in high schools, but it was shot down in the legislature. But now, instead of adding an additional subject, they want to replace economics with personal finance. So there would be some upfront costs, but little to no reoccurring costs. So here's the gist of what financial literacy would teach. They would teach kids how to balance a budget, how to accept and pay loans, how to buy and use insurance, risk recognition, cyber and internet security. And I also spoke with a high school math teacher today who says this type of curriculum is exactly what kids at that age need. It's definitely necessary, um, especially for our high school age students about to enter into college and, and uh, even a just regular adult life. Uh so if passed, Senate Bill 16 would make passing personal finance a requirement to graduate high school, but it's important to note that this wouldn't completely wipe out economics classes from curriculum. They would just become electives, right?